we go. I'm Sherry Israel and I am here with Teresa Morris. She is the program director at Fieldstone Farm Therapeutic Writing Center and she's also the past president of NARA. Hi Sherry, nice to meet you. So what is NARA? NARA is uh, the national association that uh, certifies instructors and accredits centers for equine assisted activities. Okay, so what I'm trying to cover today is para dressage, but we can talk about all kinds of para equestrian activities and that usually starts at the therapeutic riding level. So right. could you explain to me a little bit about therapeutic riding? Sure, well that's easy because you're a rider yourself. <laughs> and if you're a rider yourself, you get it. Uh, when you're on a horse, you have power, you have freedom, you have speed, you have everything that you could ever want at times 10. When you're a rider who has a physical disability or a cognitive disability or even some emotional or psychological challenges, um, you feel um, you're often uh, limited in, in some different ways, but when you're on a horse, you're a partner with your horse, and your horse shares all those things with you, so it's such a powerful experience, and you get what you need from it. So would you say that working with the horse empowers the students? Absolutely. You can see growth in, in uh, emotional capacity, uh, self-esteem, confidence, uh, just your general outlook on life. You can see physical benefits. Uh, increased range of motion, strength, um, balance and coordination are huge. You can see even cognitive benefits when you become more aware of your surroundings, uh, in which you're highly motivated to do when you're riding a horse, <laughs> uh, you, learn, you can uh, have the capacity to learn more too when you're more aware of your surroundings. So uh, when most people see or learn about para-equestrian activities, what's immediately apparent is a physical disability, someone who maybe has a prosthetic or has some other thing that you can physically see, but for therapeutic riding, it's not always something that's physically apparent. Actually, in the para-equestrian, it's not always apparent, too, that those riders have uh, physical disabilities because they are so accomplished. But the, the whole goal of riding is to ride in unison with your horse and, and, and be a companion and a... And, uh, an extension of your horse. So when you get to the paraquestrian level, it's not as apparent that, that they have disabilities either. Um, and those riders are so dedicated and so uh, passionate about their work. and it, uh, They train at least as hard as any other athlete that, that is at the, at the games. And it sounds like it's even more important for a, a para-athlete to be able to have a connection with the horse. Oh as with any Olympic rider, absolutely correct. Uh, when you start at, a lot of our para-equestrians start out at the therapeutic riding centers across the country. Um, hopefully they started out at accredited NARA centers. Um, but then uh, the very few that go on to be para-equestrians have devoted a lot of their life and, and their time and their resources to gaining that level of riding. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this? This is Baby Huey. He's one of our therapy horses here at Fieldstone. He just wanted to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for giving me a, an idea of uh, therapeutic riding, and thank you, Baby Huey, for visiting with us today. You are so welcome. Good luck to you. Thank you. Although none of the students at Fieldstone Farm currently rides in horse shows competitively, Fieldstone does put on a fun show every year that they were preparing for when I was there. So I was able to watch some of the students as they practiced their horse show maneuvers going through cones and practicing their equitation for the upcoming show.